Hey, the Lord bless you, Evangelist Rob here of Robwood's Ministries. No sunglasses. The sun's not out. It's cloudy out. Hallelujah. I wish the sun was always out, not the S-U-N, but the S-O-N, the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Now, before I prophesy, decree and declare the double portion mantle, the double portion anointing that's coming on you, in you, and through you, I need your help as a minister of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Please subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube. The shows that are over six minutes are Bible studies uh, that you can share or use at your own leisure to have the victory in Christ. And hit the positive button, the thumbs up, not the thumbs down button. Comment positive, be humane in this hour. Hallelujah. But friends, let's just pray. And as I suggest, the anointing and the presence of the Holy Spirit is not always taught but caught and that's called impartation you've got to catch the fire hallelujah uh father we thank you we know in this season and the hour we're going into we're going to need your power and your glory and your anointing father we're asking you for the mantle uh, the remantling of the double portion like elijah cried out to elisha and said what can i do for you he said give me the double mantle. Give me the double portion. Friends, let me read this in 2 Kings chapter 9. So it was when they had crossed over that Elijah said to Elisha, ask, what may I do for you before I'm taken? Elisha said, please let a double portion of your spirit come upon me. Father, I'm asking the double portion of the spirit of Elijah to come on this generation of fire, of power of glory. Lord, let them do signs, wonders, and miracles in the streets. Let them preach the gospel with boldness. Call let them cast out demons. Let people be baptized in the Holy Ghost. Let discipleship take place in Jesus' name. Now, let me continue in verse 10. Uh, please let a double portion of your spirit be upon me. So he said, you've asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if you see me when I'm taken from you, it shall be done. But if you don't see me, you're not getting it. Friends, you've got to see the mantle. You've got to prophetically see and interpret and discern what God has for you in the future. You're going to another level. Hallelujah. You're, there's an acceleration. Amos chapter 9, I believe, says the plowman shall overtake the reaper. That's impossible in the natural due to physics. You cannot reap until you sow. But you're coming into the double portion, a supernatural acceleration of health, of finances, of grace, of power, of glory, of relationships. Hallelujah. And let me continue here. Then it happened as they continued and walked and talked that suddenly a chariot of fire appeared with horses of fire, separated the two of them. Elijah went up by a world, a world went into heaven. Elijah saw it and said, my father, my father, the chariots of Israel. And then it says, he took up the mantle of Elijah that had fallen and went back and stood by the Jordan. Then he took the mantle of Elijah that had fallen from him, struck the water, and he said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Friends, we have to have this glory, this power. We can't do this in our own strength. It comes by relationship with the Lord, worship, prayer, studying the word, meditating on the word. Daniel says, those that know their God shall be strong and do great and mighty exploits. You're not going to get the exploits till you know your God. It comes out of a relationship of grace, of being with him. Now, love where Peter in the book of Acts is minding his business. It's sunny out. Maybe he's at the beach one day. I don't know. And it said that someone got healed in his shadow. Hallelujah. You hear that thunderstorm that just kicked in? That's crazy. That's the Lord speaking. He just rolled a strike in heaven. Hallelujah. But the Lord's doing mighty works in this hour. This I don't want the, uh, the tablet to get wet. <laughs> Father, we thank you. The wind's coming. Hallelujah. Now the whirlwind's coming. This is prophetic. We got the rain and the wind that's kicking in. And it's getting dark out here. The storm clouds are coming. Lord, thank you for the double portion anointing, the double portion mantle. You're remantling your church, your people, with glory, with signs and wonders. Hallelujah. In the prophetic, 
We see it. We they pick it up. Come on, pick up that mantle. If you don't have Jesus in your life, he comes by invitation only. God's not going to make you serve him. God created that. God didn't, gave us a free will. He didn't create robots. You can accept the night of obedience or reject the night of disobedience. You control the doorknob to your heart. So the most moral person under the sound of my voice cannot make it to heaven through works. It's a gift. It's by grace. You cannot outdo what God's already done. Jesus said you must be born again. Don't turn this off. You must be born again today because tomorrow's promise to no man. Eternity is without measure. It's not a billion years. It's without end. And you're a spiritually created being. You will never die. You, you are not immortal unless you found the fountain of youth. Give me a drink if you have. Say this prayer with me now. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. In the comments section, if you prayed that prayer, say, Amen, Rob. I want to join my faith with yours and cover that seed that you're going to grow to a hundredfold. Hallelujah. If you made it this far in the rant, please subscribe to my ministry channel. The video is over six minutes of Bible studies. Hit the like button. Comment positive. I'm praying for you. Pray for my ministry. We're seeing miracles here in Long Island, New York. The Lord doing great, mighty things. Friends, we're going to need this power and this glory, this double portion for days we're coming into. Be blessed. The Lord loves you. Amen.